Hi, we are going. Welcome to my channel. This is your reading for the next week. Let's see. What do we have for you, we are going? Happy birthday. This is your season. Enjoy. This is for we are going. Recognition. You are going to see clearly what is the best for you. It's like a new idea. Clarity about the situation. Message for Virgo. Power. It's like the Emperor energy. There is energy, it's about success, you are taking action, you are very strong as this time, you are powerful. If you are working on a project, don't give up, it is going to pay off, okay? It's you also very confident. What do you need to focus, Virgo? the nine of swords. In this text, the nine of swords is dedication, okay? It's like you've been struggling with a lot of things at the same time, but you're not giving up. Stay strong, okay? You can be talking about warrior stress, anxiety, nightmare. What you don't see coming? The Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. It's so very sensitive, but also very intuitive. Trust in your intuition, assistant, vehicle. You are ready to be in a relationship. Your heart is open. You are someone very loving, caring, generous, helping others. Let's see. You're very independent. You are taking care of yourself. You are beautiful as this vehicle. So nine of pentacles, she's creating her own abundance. There is a connection here. It's like your destiny to be with this person. It's a past life connection, soulmate connection. You already know this person. It's someone from your past. You have good memories with this person. For some of you, you have two options. There you go. With the two of pentacles, he is struggling a lot, doing a lot of things at the same time. We have Pisces energy. With the high princess, it's also talking about trust you in your intuition. It can be talking about a secret or something is hiding. But the high princess, she knows everything. We have the page of wands. It's you choosing a new direction in your life. You're feeling very excited about something new. It's also important for you, Virgo, to rest, to heal, to take care of yourself. Okay, because there is an ending about the situation. With the Ten of Swords, you can fix the situation. It wasn't good for you. It was a lack of communication, worries, stress, anxiety. It's why it's ending, okay? Whoops. With the Nine of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Cups. It's like a wish come true. The so universe is gifting you your wish. Virgo. With the Six of Cups, it's like a beautiful connection here. With the Page of Salt, for some of you, you are dealing with the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Someone younger of you, okay? The page of swords is like a student, it's about curiosity. For some of you, you have 
children around you. There is two pages here. With a page of thoughts you need to be open to learn new skills. It's a new idea, okay? It's a two of pentacles, okay? I like it's about a third party situation. You are making a choice, Virgo. Let's see what's going on. We see High Princess, you know exactly the truth that was going on. Definitely against your third party situation with the Three of Cups. You are choosing a new direction, you are very strong vehicle here with a page of wands. You want to be happy again, to have a new beginning in your life. It's why I feel like you are choosing to leave a situation behind, to end something here. With a four of swords. Pentacles, okay. With the three of pentacles, you're going to work on a new project with someone, okay. You can be talking about working in family to create stability foundation, okay. I really feel like you want stability in your love life, therefore. But you're going to leave someone, I feel like. You are choosing yourself to find balance in your life. We have the key of cups showing up. It's the end of a connection. Okay. You can be talking about a water sign, concept by Cisco energy. Someone very sensitive and shy. Let's see what's going on here. Message for Virgo. It's your perfect match, Virgo. Yeah, there is someone else, yeah. There is a king of wands. Okay, let's see what's going on. This is for Virgo. A secret will be revealed next week with a book card. It's you making a sacrifice, like your destiny, having faith. With the moon cloud, can be talking about confusion here. It's about your repetition, your intuition. Listen your intuition to make this decision. There you go. Two cards here. It's a lot of stress. Whereas this card is a birth card, it's about gossip. There's a lot of people around you talking. With the mice, it's a lot of worry, stress, or loss of money. Everything will be okay because you are making a decision to be happy again. You are the most important person in your life vehicle. The stress, it's over, okay? Let's see, message for the go with the sun. It's you, choosing a new direction, but taking action in your life, there go. There is a key card, it's a new opportunity, a new door is open for you to have success, victory. Can be talking about with um, Taurus Virgo Capricorn, yeah. Let's see, it's a crossword in your life. You're going to end a connection, I feel like, with someone. Choosing a new direction.
Let's search for Virgo. Okay, Virgo. So there's a connection here. Okay, I feel like you're going to have an important conversation with someone. So there's also certain health. It's unexpected money coming for you. With the coffee, I feel like it's this connection you are going to end something. It's transformation. Can be talking about the Scorpio, okay? Definitely I see you ending, choosing to end something. To be happy again. Let's see an advice for you, Virgo. Because you want to feel exciting. Okay, with a page of fonts, it's passion. It's also taking a lot of moving, traveling. Scorpio energy again. Press through the tension, okay. Just relax, everything will be okay. You are going to be happy with someone in the near future. You are making the right choice. Virgo. Virgo, this is your reading. Thank you so much for watching and being here. Take care. Bye.